the house managers who've been telling a story and they've done it very effectively. <laughs> a story, huh? Schiff, I think it'll go down as one of the great performances. I thought it was dazzling. <laughs> it's very persuasive stuff. I think folks will be talking about Adam Schiff's presentation for a long time to come. Very, very powerful and forceful speech. By most accounts, it was a virtuoso performance. It's like a... Springsteen or Billy Joel or Prince when he was alive, <laughs> like you're clapping and they come back out and then they do another song that's even or better. Or Prince when he was alive. In the room. I mean, I, I thought he was <laughs> sensational. An impassioned sort of creed de cour there from um, from from Congressman Adam Schiff. Billy Joel. <laughs> okay. No. Tony us now's reaction. The host of Lara Logan has no agenda on FoxNation.com. Lara Logan, Fox News contributor, Dan Mangino. All right, I know you are more about news, not taking sides, Lara. Fair enough, and you identify that. I am a talk show host. I do straight news. I do investigative reporting. I do opinion. I do sports. Super Bowl's coming up. I want to talk about it. The question is, do you think what uh, Adam, what they were saying about Adam Schiff is news? It's a good question, Sean. I mean, and uh, what they're, what, what you just played, what we've heard um, from many different people is opinion. It's clearly opinion, right? So you're, you're describing it. And adjectives, you know, at 60 Minutes, we always like try to say, minimize the use of adjectives because they, by their nature, right, they are um, infused with opinion and observation and analysis. They're not straight facts. And so um, you always try to be careful about that. And pejorative adjectives especially, because our job, we always regard it as giving the audience and the viewer the opportunity to make up their own mind, not making it up for them. And adjectives can push you in one direction or another. And that said, it would be one thing if you're offering your opinion, even if it's a glowing opinion, um, but you also took into account the other side of this. For example, the context in which Adam Schiff is standing there making this speech for many Americans. He's lost credibility because he has lied over and over and over again. I mean, nobody actually buys that when he told everyone that he'd never met the whistleblower and had no contact with the whistleblower, that you would then later it gets, you know, you find out that his office met and coordinated with the whistleblower. Nobody believes that his office knew about that and didn't tell him. Nobody believes, as he said, that he regretted he hadn't been more clear, words along those lines. I mean, so there, there is a credibility here um, issue with Adam Schiff. And these um, journalists and news organizations are well, not acknowledging that. They're not saying, well, he did a great uh, performance here, but Adam, Adam Schiff, you know, does have issues with many people. And perhaps... You know, that's why they're trying so hard to convince people that this is Let's historic. See, uh... Usually, you know, methinks the lady protesteth too much, right? The perception, and this is my opinion now, right? The perception that you have is that they're trying too hard. Because when Let you look get at the Dan facts, you know, the facts that are left out of the conversation. And Dan I say they're key because you don't have to look very hard. You can step out, you know, anywhere in America, you can find someone who says, you know, Adam Schiff, I got a problem with him because everything he said about the Russia investigation pretty much turned out not to be true. And then he said this, and then he said that. Lara, and hang on one second. I got it. I got it. I'm going to do the better right? for the time. Ignoring Let me bring that in. That side of it is not journalism. Dan, you're like me. We're talk show hosts. What does a talk show host do? We've done a lot of investigative reporting, vindicated again yesterday in the FBI, FISA abuse, uh, et cetera. Um, we do straight news some nights. We give opinion. We talk sports, culture. So I view what we do like the whole newspaper. They claim they are journalists, fair, balanced, objective. They're not. Yeah. Well, Sean, the difference is you and I on the Spygate scandal were right. Correct. Uh, that's just a fact at this point. We've been vindicated and they were wrong. even by the Democrats' own guy, Mueller. Uh, but, you know, I, I want to just give a... Oh, what is it, MSNBC or CNN in that montage you play? They're right. Adam Schiff is a, a virtuoso. He's a virtuoso BSer. Um, yep. He is telling the story. The problem is the story is false. Sean, there are two elements of this story that have never changed, and nothing Adam Schiff is going to tell anyone in America will change. The aid was delivered to Ukraine before the deadline. Yep. Fact. Second, there is no victim in this alleged high crime and misdemeanor the president's being impeached for. Who's the victim? What The Ukrainians have said we were in pressure. Amen. And even the ministry, the Minister of Foreign Affairs is on CNN the other day saying, no, they review this aid all the time. It's no big deal. Nothing Adam Schiff says will change those two 
and immutable facts, and he, he can be as he wants. Awesome points. To get the aid, and the only fact witness said, yeah, I asked the president, and he said he didn't want anything. No quid or pro or quo, like Joe. And they have to ignore the big hypocrisy of Joe. All right, guys, thank you both. That was pretty much, in a nutshell, from Lara Logan, what's going on with the lying Democrats, and from that second guy, the facts about the case. Wrapped up in four minutes. Love it.